Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about iChat Server uh, as a part of Lion Server. Now iChat is Apple's uh, protocol for instant messaging and so it allows you to uh, chat back and forth in an instant message window and uh, allows you to, uh, to send those things back and forth and so they've included their own iChat server within Lion Server. So if you've ever used anything like Instant Message or AOL Instant Messenger or anything like that, this is Apple's version of that. Now I expect that there will be some changes probably in Mountain Lion when that comes out because they've created this iMessages app that kind of lumps everything together. Uh, but for now since we don't have that we'll talk through how you set up iChat server and get that going for yourself. Now like the other services we've got, uh, on the sidebar you'll see iChat. You'll notice there's no green dot so that it's not on. Uh, very simple interface again, right? Big on off button and then really two settings that we can play with here. And what I'd like to do is just talk about each of those and uh, what they mean and then I'll show you how to set up the, uh, the iChat stuff. So the first is to enable server to server federation. Now basically what this means is it allows your iChat server to talk to another iChat server so that that way the, your users of iChat can can use their uh, Lion Server iChat account to talk with other users out on the internet and other servers and other iChat service and either iChat services or instant messaging services and it allows them to have that communication. So you can enable that or you can disable that. So if you're at home maybe you don't want your kids to uh, get out there on the internet and talk to anybody, you only want to use iChat uh, within your home, you might want to just disable that so that it basically is only going to happen on your local server in your local network. But if you do want to be able to have the ability maybe to talk to your kids where you're, while you're away and you want to do that by iChat, then you're going to need to leave this open so that whatever server or, or connection you're on out there, it'll allow you to connect in. Now, let's just edit that for a second. Let's assume you want to have that turned on. What does it look like when we edit this? Well, if you notice on this uh, window here, it gives you a couple of different options. And uh, this really allows you to kind of hone it in to the extent that you want to do that. The first is you can just say, hey, require server-to-server -server federation. In other words, if I'm going to connect to any services um, that aren't my own server, I want to require that we have uh, a secure connection between them. I want, to, I want to require that that federation takes place so that I know what's going on. So you can click that right there. And then what you can say, and this is kind of one of the more secure ways to do it, so you just want to require a secure connection. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can allow federation with all domains. You're just saying, hey, I don't care who wants to talk to me out there. Uh, as long as we've got a secure connection, I'm good. Or if you want, like I said with the kids, you want to restrict it to certain domains. And so if you did that, you would just come down here and you would specify what domains you want. So for instance, uh, let's say you want to, you know, you're okay with, uh, you know, server.example.com. You know, that's a good site and everything's okay. You add that on there. Uh, you can add another one. And basically what that means is anything you add in here now uh, are the only domain names that you can receive and give iChat messages to outside your own local server. So it's a good way to sort of limit uh, your kids access to things out there and to uh, just just know that hey only these type of, of domains can get in. So if you want to secure it that way you can do that. If you want to leave it open uh, you can certainly just click this allow all domains and you notice even the stuff you put in there before stays I'm going to back this out so I don't have that sitting there um, but that's one way that you can make uh, make this work and you can secure your iChat connections. So I'm just going to cancel that for a second. So that's enabled so that I can talk to servers on the outside. You'll also notice this bu uh, button here that says archive all iChat messages. And what this allows you to do is to archive all the messages that happen throughout your network. All right, so no matter what computer uh, people are on, it'll archive those messages so that you can have a uh, kind of list of who people are talking to and what has been said. And so again, kind of as maybe a security thing for your kids if you want to check in on that. All you got to do is check the box and it will archive them. Uh, to give you an idea of where those things archive, let me just show you. We're going to pull up a... Uh Now to give you an idea of where these archived iChat messages are, I'm just going to pull up a finder window here just to show you where those are at. Just so you're wondering, if you're wondering where do those things sit, where, where do they happen, if you pull up a finder window, uh, you go to your server here, and you go to library uh, here on your server, and then you scroll down and you look for the file that says server, and let me get that for you down here. Here it is right here. 
And then on the side here, you can see where it says iChat. And so it will actually put those archives in this iChat folder. Now it's a, it's a locked folder. You've got to be uh, the system admin to get in there to get a hold of those things. So it's secure. But that is where those things are stored in case you are wondering where those things are at. And this is also kind of a good review just to let you know that most all the other uh, settings and things that you have for different services are stored in these folders uh, right here in the Finder. That way you can see where they're at if you need to access them later. So let me just pop that down here. And what we're going to do now that we have everything set up, uh, I'm going to start the server uh, to make that happen. So let me just uh, let me just turn on the server for a second, and we're going to let it go. And you can see down below it's writing the profile manager settings based on what we told it uh, to do. And now that the gear is done spinning, that means everything is set up and ready to go. And we've got the green dot on the side. Now, a couple of things you want to check just in case. Uh, on your hardware side, if you have the Apple router that we talked about, you've got an Airport Extreme. You can click on that over here, and you want to make sure that you add this public service because if you're trying to get outside your network, you want to have uh, the ports opened up on your router. And you would just do that by clicking the plus sign uh, on the side here, and a little drop down comes up and then you pick the service and so if iChat isn't on there it'll come up here uh, in a lot of cases what will happen is it'll ask you if you want to add the iChat service once you start the service if it's not already on there and then it'll basically restart your router for you and open the port that you need to make it happen but I wanted to make sure that you knew that one more thing that you're going to want to make sure you check is on your users uh, if you're wondering why can't somebody connect you want to come into your users come here and you say edit uh, access to services and you want to make sure that your user has the iChat server checked here or otherwise they're not going to be able to access it. It's not going to open it up for them. This will automatically take care of everything for you. I know in, in some cases people have said, well you want to go into Workgroup Manager to change it. What I found is you don't have to do that if you've got a normal server, uh, a, a normal iChat name that you're going to put on there. So let me just cancel this. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go back to iChat on here. So now we're set up. So let me show you what it looks like now to start the iChat service and to get it running. Okay, so let's set up iChat server. Uh, let's, let's connect to our iChat server now on a client. And I'm going to do it right here on the server just to give you a feel for how that looks. And so what I'm going to do is pull up iChat. And so you can pull up your iChat program. Now, if you don't have any iChat accounts started, it's going to walk you through this wizard like this. If you do already have iChat set up with maybe an AIM account or uh, you know instant, another instant messenger account, you come up here to preferences, and then you would go to the accounts and set it up. But let, let's use the wizard since I don't have it set here. So I'm going to click continue. It's just telling me it's going to set it up. And then when you come in here uh, to your account type, you want to go to where it says Jabber, okay? Because you're using a Jabber server. And you'll notice that you've got your account name and password, and you'll see down below you've got all these different uh, server options here. Now, what you're going to need to do, you can leave this blank. You don't have to do anything. It's going to auto-select it. You need to type in your full, uh, your full name with your server. And so what that is, that's your short name. So you want to type in your short name, and you put the at sign, and then you're basically going to put your fully qualified domain name or whatever it is that you named uh, your host name on your server. So you want to put the full thing in there, okay? Because uh, if you don't do that, it'll come back with an error saying it can't find it. And then you want to put in your password, which your password is whatever you use to access the server. And then you'll click continue. And then it says, hey, I'm ready to set it up. It, it knows that your server is good to go. You click done. And what it'll do is it'll automatically set you up and log you in. And you can see right here, up comes my uh, server no, uh, name and everything. And now I'm set up. I'm available to chat and I can start chatting. I can add people if I want to. And now the uh, service is ready to go. So that's how you get that set up on a client side. And so what you would do is go to each of your machines and set it up for the client that you're logging into and get them set up and everything will be ready to go. Okay. Okay, one more thing I want to show you before we end this screencast is how to enable a feature that's not enabled by default on, Ly on Lion Server. There used to be a feature that was enabled on iChat Server that allowed you to have an auto buddy setting. And what auto buddy did was once you added people into your network, then those people would automatically populate your buddies list so that that way you wouldn't have to go in and manually add uh, the buddies you wanted to add to your iChat list. And so uh, in Lion Server, they disabled that, but there is a way to enable it, and we'd have to use Terminal to do that. So I want to show you how to do that. Now, 
couple of things with this. First of all, once you enable it, that means that if you try to delete any of those buddies that are in your network that get added automatically, they will just repopulate and pop back up. So you'll have to undo this if you don't want to have those buddies show up in your buddy list. But since this is a family, uh, you know, a home server, the number of people in your home are limited and you probably want to communicate with all of those people. So this is a good feature to have enabled so that you don't have to worry about adding all these people to the different iChat clients that you've got in your household. Uh, one more thing to understand is that uh, it only works with the same type of accounts. So for instance, uh, open directory accounts, it works with those, but it doesn't work with regular network accounts that aren't open directory. And so sometimes you might have a mix of those. And I want to show you uh, what a mix of those looks like on my uh, own setup here, because the account that you see in the background here, this is a regular network account. It's not a open directory account. All the other accounts now that I have on my uh, server are open directory accounts. So I want to show you the difference between those. So what you're going to do is go into terminal and you want to type in this line here that you can see down here that I'm highlighting. Okay, it's sudo server admin settings jabber colon enable auto buddy equals yes. And once you hit enter and you do that, it'll say, okay, this is what I set it up as and then take you right back to a cursor prompt. And that means you did it the right way. Now you'll notice I've done this. It's all set up. It says yes, but there are no buddies populated in my list here. It's, there's zero on this one. That's because this is a regular network account. So what I want to do is show you what this looks like uh, from another computer on my network. Now this is uh, another computer that is on Open Directory and I want you to notice that now we've got buddies populated in this list and these are three other people that are open directory accounts on my network that are now available automatically I didn't do any setup uh, they're available automatically on this particular computer's iChat client so as you can see it's a kind of a nifty uh, neat way to get that set up you don't have to worry about uh, all the configuration pieces and uh, and it should work well for you so that's all I have for this week uh, for iChat server hopefully that covers everything for you and uh, we'll be back uh, next week with another screencast, probably on uh, VPN. And so again, thanks for watching. I'll be back next week with another screencast to help you do more things with your Mac.